my maiden voyage here with the motorcycle on the back. Uh, Ryan, can you hear me? You there? I don't hear you on my phone anymore. All right. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, keep on going and keep on going. So far, so good. Let me bring up the camera on the back. Wow, I can see the motorcycle on there. It's, a, it's definitely bouncing, but it's on there. We're gonna check all the mountain points when we get back at the house and uh, should be nice and tight, hopefully still. Park it up here. So we did it. We got the, uh, the Zero on the Model X. And uh, it's uh, strapped up, charged up, and we're ready to go. I, I, we're on our way to Carmel. We're going to go visit our friend Brandon a Cowboy Racing, Cowboy Electric. And he is uh, he's a genius behind the superchargers for the... For the uh, zero. So, we're on our way to Electric Cowboy up in Carmel right now to fix a supercharger on this bike. When I say supercharger, it doesn't have some whiny ass, old school, big blower on the top. I mean electric supercharging. Just like on the Tesla, we supercharge the Tesla at the superchargers where I'm going to get like 100, 110 amps to the sucker versus the 45 amps I'm getting here. So we're going to go from to a DC quick charge we're going to put on this guy the same thing, but it's going to go with a Tesla charger now. So at the Tesla charger, we get the full 220 volts. It charges in 30 minutes to an hour versus at 110 volt stock, which was eight hours. So you'd ride like 140 miles on your bike. Sweet. You got to Malibu, but then you're stuck there all night. Similarly to a destination charger on the Tesla, this was the same thing. But when we outfit this guy with one of Brandon's chargers, that gives us now supercharging on this bike using the full look at this check it out that's a tesla plug on there it's no longer the j plug so we're plugging in the tesla charger on this sucker and uh yeah go up to the cowboy electric ranch uh, we're gonna get on the road now uh yeah come on let's go